Hey guys, welcome back today. We're gonna go ahead and get into it pretty quick here. We are doing Ducky Script. And the first thing that we're gonna want to download, and it'll be the first link right down there in the description, will be for Notepad++. It's my favorite text encoder, I'm pretty sure is the right way to say it. Text editor, more than likely. Um, for programming, because as you see right here, it has a bunch of um, already added in languages and it has a syntax in there. So if you type in, like I'll show you here in a little bit, uh, one of the specific syntax words and it highlights it in that color so you can tell the different, um, tell it apart from all the code around it. Now, it has a whole lot of languages, but if it doesn't have the one that you need, Usually you can find something like this, which we'll download right here. It'll be the second link down in the description. This is for the ULD for Notepad++, which ULD is just user-defined language. But once you have both those downloaded and installed, it should download an XLM. You're going to go right here to Define Your Language. Click on Define Your Language. And at the top right there, it'll have an Import button. So you just click on import, you choose your file from your download folder right there, you import that XLM, XML, can't remember exactly, sorry, it's been a minute since I uh, installed it, but yeah, that's the right one, because that's what I had bookmarked for my files. <laughs> and from there, you have pretty much everything, and I'm going to give you a second right here, we're going to slow down, take a breather. That way, no one gets too far behind. Everyone gets everything installed. And the first program we're going to make for DuckyScript is going to be a Hello World code. And you're probably asking right now, why are we doing DuckyScript? Well, DuckyScript works perfectly on bad USBs. Bad USBs are dedicated USBs for, like, t technically uses the USB as like a keyboard but yeah it's pretty cool you can do a lot of cool stuff with it and right now we're gonna do a hello world where we're not even touching the keyboard so I went ahead and put the first line of text there that's REM which stands for remove so anything typed in front of remove like I say right there will not be included because anything in front of that will just be removed, as it says. So what we're going to want to do next, we're going along step by step with the uh, tutorial that I was given. Now I know we're going to have to troubleshoot this tutorial a little bit because there's actually some problems in it. But you wouldn't know that if you just followed the instructions that they gave you. You would try to figure out where the problem is, but we'll go through that shortly too. Now, right there, I put an important line of text, which is the default delay. The default delay is always set to 200, which is 200 milliseconds. Um, you can just put in delay, which I'll do here in a couple lines. And delay, you can set to whatever you want the time length to be for it to wait. I just typed in GUI R. GUI is the same thing as pretty much hitting the Windows button on your keypad. R is for run. So that's going to go ahead and hit the Windows key and R for run. Now, when it opens up the run command, it's going to ask us what we want to type in there. For what we want to type, we're going to type string right before it. String turns it into text that the keyboard can type out. Now, after that, you're going to want to put an enter. So to go ahead and tries to run the program that you entered in there, if it can, which nine times out of ten it can. And once, it in, once it's in there, we have to type string again so we can display the text on the screen. And we'll go ahead and put hello world as our first text. Now, we're going to want to save this. It's going to be saved as a normal text file. As long as you save it as a normal text file and you put it somewhere on your desktop that you can find it easily, 
name it whatever you want. I just named this one Hello World. Just to keep things simple, straightforward, you know. I'm trying to keep too many things confusing. The least amount of confusing that I can make here. But we're going to go ahead and name this. Save it to the computer. Change the text type to normal text. Hit save. Now, as you can see, it's just, you know, a notepad file. But that's all you need. I already have one on my Flipper Zero, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That way we can load in the new one, and I'll be exactly where you guys are. So, we're going to go right here into the folders, into the SD card, into the bad USB as you see up there in the top. We're going to open up our file explorer and drag our hello world file in. Like as you see right there, it's just a text document. We're going to copy it over into the bad USB file so we can use it as a bad USB. Man, my computer is loud. And once that's in there, we're going to go ahead and unplug the Flipper Zero and try to run this and see what happens as we have it written. And what does it do? Let's see. Huh. Nothing's happening so far. Let's try it one more time. Because this is exactly how they tell you to type it if you go to the Wikipedia page. But for some reason, it's not doing anything. Strange. Well, I guess we'll have to look back at the code. All this. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and initiate the default delay just to make sure that that might be the problem. We'll hit save. Let's see what happens here. We'll try it one more time. Because maybe the default delay wasn't initialized. We'll save it on there one more time. We'll do the delete copy over method. That way we know we don't copy over multiple files and mess something up. Which technically you shouldn't be able to, but I mean it's happened to me before. So... Let's go ahead and grab that file, drag it back over, see if it was just the default delay. Maybe that had the whole entire program down. So we'll go ahead and unplug it, try to plug it back in in bad USB mode, which won't connect it back to the computer, not in the same way that it does before. And look at that, it opens Notepad, but it doesn't type anything. No words are displayed there. So, we're on the right track now, but why is it not typing anything? The answer to this problem is pretty simple, and I can't believe it took me so long to figure it out. But, I went ahead right in here, deleted it one more time, and if you don't have Notepad++, and you have Notepad installed on your computer, like I'm showing you right here, you can edit it just fine over there too. But with Notepad++, it's a little bit easier to read. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a delay right here after I hit enter. Because the bad USB can type about, I don't know, it's somewhere like 600 words a second or a minute. And... Sometimes it's just so fast that the computer can't keep up with it. So, hopefully, that fixes our problem. We'll do one last transfer over. At the end of this video, you realize why I'm showing you the walkthrough of this debug, pretty much. Because if you follow the last link, eh, let's copy it over. If you follow the last link for the syntax, it'll become clear. So we'll try running it one more time. See if we can get it to run this time, because last time we got it halfway there. 
But can we get the full prize this time? And we get Hello World. Our first code is done. Now from there, you can go ahead and add to it. You could make jokes with it and leave it on your friends' computers. Uh, you could make it a calling card type deal for computers that you've been on and you want people to know that you've been there. Now, if you want more help and you want to expand the code and you want something that you can look back on, you can always go to Google, type in Dougie, uh, Ducky Script Syntax. Should probably do a second take on that, but I'm not gonna. And you scroll down right here, which I'll leave the link to it down below. It's a Wikipedia page by Space Hun. And this Wikipedia page has all of the syntax that you're ever gonna need for any Ducky Script, pretty much. Now, here's the reason why I wrote the code wrong the first time around. Because I was saying, hey, why don't we go ahead and follow this quick example that they have for you on the same page that has the syntax. But as you see right here, the syntax is actually wrong <laughs> on this page. It's missing a delay right there, which as we've just seen, without that delay, the program won't run at all. It launches Notepad, but won't type because it's already past that point before it had the chance to catch up. So, you could do anything you want with DuckyScript within reason. Don't get me wrong, there's a couple things you can't do. I haven't really found too many of them, but... And you can change this code right here to print images, actually, if you want to. That's what I did with mine. Uh, and I'll leave the code right here in the description. So go ahead and copy that over if you want to, and you change it up to any image you want. And I'll actually leave the link for the ASCII or image to ASCII converter for you guys too. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Let me know what y'all want to see next, and uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, so you know whenever I'm making videos in the future and they're coming out. And until then. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye.